Welcome to the Fall Athletic Virtual Award Ceremony for 2020. This has certainly been a season unlike any others for all of us, coaches, players, and our families. With the restriction imposed by the coronavirus, we have all had to practice a new level of patience because of the unpredictability of the future. As athletes and coaches, we are trained to plan, prepare, and perform to a set schedule of games, competitions, tournaments, and championships. This fall was all about flexibility and accountability, cautions and precautions, masks and sanitizer. But you did persevere, and we did get to play, kick and run and compete and win. And to paraphrase Dom Rinelli, this season, we learned to appreciate what we had and give it all we got. Our friends and families were there to share in our competitions, whether in person, six feet apart, or from home as the games were live streamed. We did have a postseason experience that brought about unofficial titles and official CIAC All-Stars. Through this video, we, you will get to hear your coaches thank you and summarize your seasons as well as recognize your award winners. So from the athletic department, myself, Coach Griffin, Mrs. Fowler, and Kelly, we would like to again thank the coaches, the families, and especially you, the players, for making the fall of 2020 the memorable season that it was. Thanks and stay safe. and I am the girls cross country coach. This season was very short, but we had a very great season. We were undefeated in all three of our meets and so many of our girls improved their 5K times from last year. So without further ado, let's get into the awards. So our first award is the ECC Sportsmanship Award. And this award goes to a runner who improved her time from last year by over a minute and a half and that's because she showed up to practice every single day wanting to improve she was very enthusiastic and she was also just a great role model to the freshmen on the team so this year's ecc sportsmanship award goes to phoebe foley our next award is the saints award and the saints award goes to a girl who's been um, one of our top runners for the past three years she demonstrates the Xavier in values every single day at practice. She's always so compassionate towards people who are hurt or injured, and she's always just very happy and excited to be at practice, and it's just great to have her on the team. And the Saints Award this year goes to Lillian Turner. Na next up is the uh, Coaches Award. The Coaches Award goes to someone who has been on the team for all four years, and she has consistently been in the top five on the team. And this year, she's actually one of our captains. So being a uh, captain this year has been a lot harder than it has been in the past because there's different things to keep the coach updated on. There's always changes in the schedule, and she just did an incredible job this year keeping me updated on school-related COVID things, on you know, things going on with the team. And she was always just such a positive role model at practice. Despite the circumstances, she was always just very positive. And I have loved watching her grow into such an amazing leader throughout all four of her years. And I'm going to miss her so much next year. Um, the Coach's Award goes to Rachel Kunkka. And then our last award is a combo of the MVP Award and Scholar Athlete Award. This runner has been one of our top runners ever since she was a freshman. And I can wholeheartedly say that I could always guarantee that she would race well under pressure. I could always depend on her no matter what the situation was that was thrown at her. She always just raced so well. Um, throughout her four years at St. Bernard's, she has been all ECC each year. 
She's been all area for the New London Day. She's set the St. Bernard course record. She has the St. Bernard 5K record, and she was all state this year. That's a lot of accomplishments. So we're going to miss her so much next year, but we know she was going to do such an amazing job in college. And the MVP scholar athlete goes to Serena Brittner. Thank you. I'm Bill Schwarzenbach, the boys cross country coach. As always, I'd like to start out by thanking our parents for their solid support of our team this year, as well as our athletic director, Sue Griffin, and athletic trainer, Kelly Perkins, for keeping our kids healthy and complying with all COVID-19 protocols throughout the season. We started out our season with only three boys, and uh, we then worked ourselves up to at least six runners, uh, only two of whom had even run in high school cross country before. But despite being undermanned and underexperienced, the boys held their own and were very competitive in all three of the v meets that we were able to contest this year. I was very proud of their efforts and their spirit. And they worked hard and uh, turned out to in what turned out to be uh, an extremely short season. My awards are as follows. For ECC sportsmanship, I'm giving it to Zane Kingsborough. He's a sophomore who came to us with like zero running background. He worked hard, loved the workouts, ran in all our meets, and improved fantastically throughout the season. My ECC scholar athlete is Jack Zackham. Jack's a senior and he's the only runner on our team this year that actually ran for all four of his years in high school at St. Bernard. He was our team captain and he's been an outstanding student throughout his entire St. Bernard career, consistently making high honors or the headmaster's list. My coach's award is going to Jason O'Donnell. He's our lone freshman who overcame some what I would call freshman jitters as well as, as uh, some illnesses. He also has uh, bad asthma, but he was just starting to really come into his own and was really starting to get to where I thought all along he should be, and then our season went down. Um, my Saints Award goes to a junior who came to us uh, after our season started and then turned out to be just a wonderful kid. It's Ian Gonzalez. All you need to know about Ian is that, and his brother Alex, they're both competitive swimmers. And on most days, they would go to swim practice at 6 in the morning, then put in a full day at school, and then come out for uh, cross-country practice right after school. And the harder the workout, the more Ian loved it. Um, he's going to be a fantastic runner next year as long as he uh, sticks with it, and Alex also. Our most valuable runner this year was Andrew Graves. Andrew was consistently our best runner all season. This was after having had bad injuries, both as a sophomore and as a junior. Finally, in his senior season, Andrew was able to run injury-free, and it really showed in his consistently fine performances. 
I want to thank again everyone for their efforts and uh, certainly looking forward to the future. Thanks. Bye. After another season of St. Bernard Ladies Soccer. Um, been obviously a pretty crazy one and uh, it's been different than anyone that I've ever experienced that's for sure. Um, but one thing I wanted to start with was uh, just how proud I was of the girls and how well they adapted to everything that we had to overcome this year. Um, between being laid off for a few weeks several times, uh, every time we were getting ready to play somebody the you know the other team ended up you know pulling out because they were you know had an infection um, and the girls handed it all in stride. You know, they showed up to practice every day, ready to participate, ready to work hard, ready to get better with the right attitude. Um, and that's just, you know, as a coach, that's all you can ever ask for. Um, you know, as always, and I, and I think this year in particular, um, you know, the captains set the tone for how we do things. And, uh, I thought our captains this year were fantastic. Uh, it would have been very easy just to kind of mail it in this year, and uh, and they certainly never did that and didn't let anybody else do that. And that's, you know, a credit to those three young ladies. Um, you know, it was, it was really uh, a great bit of leadership from them. Um, so, uh, again, pleased. I thought we competed really well in the games that we did have. It was unfortunate that we couldn't have a regular season because uh, I think that... Um, you know, we, we would have had a really, really good chance at winning the ACC championship again this year, and it's been a couple of years. Um, so it would have been nice to get that one back under our belt. Uh, and I think this team was certainly good enough to do that. But, um, you know, we'll go at them again next year. Um, we did have a few um, awards. A um, couple of things. The ECC awards that we had this year were the scholarship award, or the scholar athlete award which was Olivia Massad, and the Sportsmanship Award, which went to Sophia Vidal. Um, we did have a, uh, an All-State player. I'll get to that in a second. But um, unfortunately, there were no All-ECC voting this year, uh, which is kind of a bummer because I think we would have had a number of girls this year because we just had we had a really good group of kids and uh, you know a lot of talented young ladies, and I think we would have done really well in the voting. Um, but... Unfortunately, that wasn't there, but we did do all-state voting, um, and we did have one all-state player, which continues our streak for uh, at least 10, 12 years now. We've had at least one, um, and this year, um, that player is Lindsay Clement. Uh, her second year is all-state, which is absolutely fantastic, um, and uh, you know, very much credit to her for how much work she put in to get there. Um, so that's that's really what we what we strive for every year. So really pleased about that. Uh, and then lastly, um, we had so many players come really ready to go this year and young players step up um, and fulfill roles that, you know, maybe they wouldn't have been sure that they were ready for, you know, six months ago, but uh, they did a fantastic job. We had several freshmen, you know, starting. We had a bunch of freshmen playing. We had a bunch of sophomores step up and, and get a lot of game time this year that they hadn't gotten before considering we didn't have too many games, but relatively. Um, and uh, and I think that bodes well for our future. So this is a group that uh, I think next year, um, the sky's the limit. Let's keep pushing. Let's keep working. And uh, hopefully we can get it done next time. Hope to see everyone soon. Thanks. See ya.
Thanks for uh, watching our video. I'd like to take a moment first to thank all the families that supported us of our, the St. Bernard's Boys Soccer. Without you guys, none of the success we had this year would have been um, possible. It's a big commitment going from early July until the middle of November, and you guys supported us really hard, especially when you couldn't be there to watch. So I really think I'm grateful to that. I'd like to thank Ms. Griffin, Ms. Fowler, Ms. Perkins, our trainer, for being there to support us the entire way, taking care of all the details on days of games when we couldn't, like, you know, us coaches really couldn't do that. I'd like to thank Coach Jay, Jack Abulski, for being there. Without us, without him, our success wouldn't really be there. He's a sounding board. The kids look up to him. He works really, really hard. He's there setting stuff up a lot. And without him, we wouldn't be successful. I'd like to thank the entire St. Bern family community for supporting us. Um, I know the kids are in school, we're out of school, it's not easy. Keeping up with your academics as well as um, playing a sport, so thank you. Hey, um, our guys worked really hard this year. It wasn't easy at all. Hard to get a, any type of pattern going. I mean, these guys, these high school kids trained for an entire month, not even knowing if we'd have a season. Most of us started with preseason activities in July. Then we went to August, had some time in September together where I thought we really were turning into a pretty good team, played a few games, and then we had to leave. We came back, we played well, we had to leave again. But in the, in the end, man, we really did well. We won our last game. We worked really hard. We ended with a losing record. A lot of guys... Well, everyone on the roster contributed at some point in time. That's what made this season so good. Um, definitely different. Definitely you're going to remember this. Um, to our seniors, moving on. We're going to miss you guys. Thank you. You left the bar pretty high. So those of us returning know we need to reach that and go beyond. So we've played a whole bunch of Novembers in a row. We're going to look forward to playing again next year in the playoffs. Um, so that's it. So we did come up with, we didn't have the traditional end of the year um, awards and things, but there, there were some awards I'd like, and some people I'd like to recognize. First off is our ECC Sportsmanship Award that went to Perry Belfiglio, our, one of our captains. Perry was, uh, he was a rock. He played in positions on the field. He worked extremely hard. Um, and the coaches really recognize that. Um, our ECC scholarship, scholarship Award went to Martin Arvidsson. Marty's another captain, another guy who worked really hard. Geez, if you got to watch our, the first half of our game against Norris Tech, Marty put all his skills on display. Without him in that game, we would, it wouldn't have been too, it wouldn't, it would have been a lot of goals. But he made some tremendous saves. He set the tone for us for the rest of the game. So thank you, Marty. Um, we had one individual make the ECC Region 2 team. That was Dominic Rinelli. Dominic did a really good job. You notice he's the spark plug. He's the engine out on the field, working hard in offense and defense. He was our leading scorer as well. Um, we had three awards from um, the coaching staff in the school. The first is a Saints Award. That goes to Santi Rodriguez. Santi. Nobody in the program has ever worked harder. So I've been here for 10 years. I've never seen anybody work harder. You're well-deserved. The guy worked hard every single day and definitely improved every single day. So thank you, Santi. The Coach's Award went to Perry Belfiglio. Perry, again, an outstanding leader on the team. Worked really hard. Had to play out of position many times. Took a lot of hits out there, but never gave up. Worked hard, organized us in the midfield, and made allowances and for other people to move forward so we could um, score some goals. Finally, our most valuable player, Dominic Rinelli. Dom did a great job out there. If you saw him, he's the guy running all over the place, kicking balls, moving forward, scored some great goals for us. He's really our emotional leader. So we're looking forward to uh, Dominic coming back with everyone else. So I'd like to take this opportunity once more to thank everyone. I look forward to um, to next season. So those seniors moving on, if you need anything, you let me know. It was, it was great working with you. For you guys coming back, season starts today. Let's get working. Get yourselves in shape. 
get some touches on the ball so we can hit the ground running when we start in August. All right, thank you very much. that we're going to be uh, together again really soon. Congratulations on an awesome fall season. I'm really glad that you got to get those games in and you guys did an awesome job. So can't wait to see you next week and um, have an awesome weekend. Take care.